don't know what this is biting, but he will not come in. Got him. I was gonna pass it. Watch it. I was gonna pass through. It's not that big. Whatever it is. Ah, got you. I'm not letting them go that far now. That's crazy. Look at that, y'all. The SEC. Oh my God. Look at that. Coño. Oh my God. Oh, thank you, oh, papi. Yeah. Wow. Tu coge ese sardine ahí? Sí, pero a las 4 de la mañana. Oh, pero la. la ¿Te abren en 4? No, me vienen a dejar. Oh, hey. Mira, mira. Ah, cinco y de medio. Uh -huh. Pero él me, él me deja ahí y espera que abra. Ah, ya que está enganchado. Vengo a, a, a agarrar. Ah. Oh my God. La cubera le gusta la sardina. Viva, sí. Look at that, y'all. If y'all didn't understand, he said that he got the snapper early this morning but he also got these live pilchards that he caught here this morning as well the spot doesn't open until 5 30 in the morning six o'clock yes so they just come inside get the sardine then go back out and wait until they open the gates for us to be able to fish so that's a quick little tip guys the filters are still here it's just that we can't get them because it's before sun up at six and they opened up here at six so it kind of messed us up there a little bit but it's all right we're gonna do what we can Ale, papi. Oui, de papi. Oh. What up, Johnny boy? <laughs> I caught you, bro. I Anna. What up, Johnny boy? What up, brother? What? That video was sick. Yo, this fucking weird as fuck, honestly. That dude down there got like 70 snapper. His biggest is 16. That guy right there in the middle, he came at 4 in the morning, 5.30, and caught pilchers live. He got two five-gallon buckets full. The one with the cast net and stuff? Yeah. Bro, he got a bucket full of snapper and then a cooler with like another 10. It's like three of them. But he doing all the fishing. But when the sun come up higher, it's going to be nice right here, bro. Look at that high tide. That's pristine. Put this whole small pilcher on. Two pieces for chum. Cool. Just like that. Just like that. Oh. Oh. Nine and a half. Oh, wait, Hannah. It's one fourth inch short. Oh. You sure? Yeah, I love. And you kept the other one though? Yeah. The other one was deeper in nine here. That one just got a belly on it. And then when they met when you freeze them, he's gonna shrink. Probably like another quarter inch. Oh, he got it. Got him. Ha! Hey, buddy. He might be a keep. Ooh, he touched that water again. He started swimming. Maybe not. Hey, 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 hey. 
long sink. Come on, dude. Nice little fish. Later, buddy. He's a bleeder. Make myself a couple chum pieces. A couple baits. Two baits. Whoop. That's not even my hook. It looked just like it, though. I'm going to just hook my bait one time so that way it's easier for him to snatch it and go. Chum. Boom. Then you hit him with, let him, let it sink, let it sink. Ooh. I see some nice ones right there. Come on, big snap. Come this way. Oh, yeah. Once I feel, oh, that was a nice little knock that you got there, Johnny. When it's knocking like that, bro, do you try to set the hook? Nope. Nope? Nope, I let him run. I even so give him more line. Excited, bro. Like, fuck, so much activity, though. I gotta set the hook. No, I give him more line. Like now, something just took the slack out. I give him some more. Take it, dude. Something's biting it, but you're not committing to it. Come on. I don't know what this is biting, but he will not commit. Got him. I was gonna pass, watch it. I was gonna pass through. It's not that big. Whatever it is. Ah, I got you. I'm not letting them go that far now, that's crazy. Probably an undersized mutton. Oh, he got some strength. Undersized mutton. Oh my gosh, I thought that was the mangrove monster. <laughs> Dang. Uh, that was kind of strange because I'm like, yo, he took the I slack. I gave him more. No, I was just going to put it around you. And the pier, bro, at Dania, you got to come lately, bro. Like on a weekend, that, we get chaotic. We never try to affect somebody else fishing. So we'll go over the pole and then right around you without even touching you. You got to come with us one of these days. I've only gotten twice a day here, bro. Oh, yeah, but right now, snook season is be worth the What's parking. All right, y'all, I switched to a 12 pound mono chicken rig. I say that I got the hook, which happens to be a size 6 mustad. I mean, eagle claw hook. When I first started like really catching good snapper, it was in that corner every time. And that, then I started fishing underneath. Every snapper came out of this pocket right here. That bait gotta be, oh no. That was a nice dump. Take it, buddy. And be a 14 inch mangrove while you're at it. He's dumping it, he's just not sure if he wanna take it. Feel free to take it now. There he go. He look like he want to commit to it. Take it. Got him. Knew he was there somewhere. Little Ronquito. Dude. This is going to be the story of the day. Look, so I ain't bit this fish before. You see, he's missing half. Oh, he's missing all his shit, 
A quarter probably took him out. Look at that, yo. He almost looked like a trigger. The unicorn, bro. The unicorn grunt. Unicorn grunt. Yeah, Something took a knife. He healed up bro. clean and everything. He healed up nice. Yeah, bro. That's strange, huh? Later, buddy. Third chance at life, maybe. For that guy. Definitely his second. Oh, yeah. He keeps. He keeps. Yo, we ain't got none. We can't do it. This ain't going out the video. All right. We can't do that now. We can't do this, John. Not today. Mr. Stinger. I got the. I got the. Yeah. Have you ever hit him? Me, no. But you cut the wings off. Gary. <laughs>